bin of trash, um, that person, lady, thingamajiggy that you watch on this channel because they just happen to be here. Um, anyways, um, as, yeah, er earlier I, I started a, um, a tutorial, I tutorial because I'd been asked, like, a few times. Unfortunately, I'd recorded the entire thing and then the audio busted, so this was attempt number two I'm so proud of myself okay anyway we'll go over everything and I'll I'll re-show you guys uh, a few things give you a few tips and stuff like that um obviously I think everything I drew anyway is a good example so to start with we've got a whole bunch of eye styles so yeah um, I'll start at number one which is this one here Anyway, with number one, we have, uh, let's see if we can make a bit of space. Okay, up here. Yes, thank you. Much help. Okay, what we have is eye style number one is literally just a basic shape. So we've got pretty much an oval shape. Uh, now, the only difference with the two that I showed is it's the basic shape, and this is the only thing you have for the eye. Like, uh, normally you'd have something around it, which is the eye white. And this is just like your, um, your, whatever it's called, the pupil, um, my brain just like fizzled after stuff. Anyway, uh, the difference between these two is the highlight. Somebody's very excited to get past. Anyway, what we're we talking about with the highlights is one, uh, highlights on the eye is pretty much where the sun is coming from. So the sun's here, it's shining directly on here. Uh, normally you can have it so that it follows the shape and you know obviously because the eye is slightly raised when you have your eye like in your head it looks somewhat similar to this a little bit different but you, you get what I mean um, so often this part here is just a reflection so same diff if you know what I mean so the difference with this one is I've literally just shown one has uh, the pupil just as like a, a round piece and the other one has it like curved so it follows the shape of the eye a little bit more it's really up to you how you want to show the pupil of the eye because obviously everyone's styles are going to differ and it's really dependent on what you think looks better for you so always base your eye style on what you prefer to draw um style two which is over here it's all of these look at them all they're beautiful um Alrighty, so what we've got here is all my anime eyes. See? This is it here. It's great. See? See? Okay. Uh, so we've got basic, basic enemies. This is the general, I guess, enemy style, where it's normally flat on the bottom. And as I've got here, these two are pretty much the same eye style, except one is shaded just slightly different. One has got like the, um, the iris or whatever the crap it's called in the middle of your eye, and it's showing that off a little bit more. Whereas this one here is just curving it off down the bottom because obviously everyone, um, I always shade my eyes differently. Depending on what eye style I'm drawing, I shade it differently because it works better. Like um, for chibis, the style looks nice, whereas for big anime pictures, the style looks nice. So I change it dependent. Um, again, this one has no iris, so like I use this one for someone who's shocked sometimes. Um, I will go into expressions, but expressions I'll go into a little bit later on because um, you've got a lot more to work with, so it's probably going to be its own separate tutorial. Same with things like hair, colouring, texture, um, colour palettes and stuff like that will all be something different. Um, we've also got, uh, with the enemy eyes, we've also got different styles of enemy eyes, so you've got like those two. Um, again, this one's different, and the same with um, this one here is generally more of like a male eye. It's a lot thinner, and the shape is different. It's kind of like a triangle. So most of these come from a basic shape. So you're going to get uh, this. Kind of reminds me a little bit of a C. You can design eyes based on anything. So it's really up to you what you want to do with the shape, etc. You can do it from squares. You can do it from uh, a square is how I used to draw my eyes. I, you you refine it as you you get older, changes a little bit. Um, this one here is curved in a bit, so it's more like your realistic eye, like this one. Uh, not quite, but it is. It's still a little bit more cartoony, but it's the same kind of idea. 
Uh, this one I like to use for my chibis. I find, uh, I don't always use it, but it is a style that I find it just looks adorable. Especially when you've got the eye whites and that and highlight, like, highlights and everything in it. Um, we also have, where is it, eye style 3. You, 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 this one, there we go. It's a lovely little box thing there. So what we've got is we've got your cartoonish styled eyes. A lot of these eyes I actually like to use, but I, I don't often draw cartoons, but when I do, uh, this is generally the style I go for. Uh, a lot of people used to do their chibis and stuff with like eye styles like these two here. Um, I often do my chibis with this eye style here, and that one. Uh, like a lot of people will see my character Relic, which has this style here. Uh, pretty much it's just an oval with another oval in it, so you've got the um, pupil and the eye white just around the outside, and then you can stick in that and your and just shade it in. Pretty much that's 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 pretty much relic in a nutshell. He's pretty easy. Um, you've also got like expressional ones, so like carrots is pretty much this. It kind of looks like a pea on like pea sideways. Not taking the wrong way, please. But yes, it's his kind of one, you know and grumpy eyebrows and stuff to match with it but it's a very simple eye style and it works really well for his character because obviously his character is a little bit more simplistic a little bit childish I guess so it just makes it easier this way it's also a lot more fun to draw this way um, we have uh, half so pretty much you draw half a circle and you've got your your pupil in it uh, we also have the style here. That I love the style. It's cute, it's fun, and it's easy. I will show you how I shade a few different styles of eyes afterwards because I've, I've already got one pre-made as my tutorial did, decided not to be nice to me and keep the audio. Um, okay, and the... Oh, I didn't have a number there. Wait, this is number, it's number four. GG, okay. Number four, we have Minecraft, which is there. Alrighties, Minecraft, because I know a lot of my viewers, uh, friends, etc, etc, they do a lot of Minecraft eyes, and there's a lot of different ways you can do Minecraft eyes, like, um, obviously there's your usual uh, rectangle, but you can make one um, taller, and it generally looks cuter, or for like, if you wanted like more of a manly look, etc, you make it a lot thinner, and for some reason it just looks a bit more intimidating. Um, you can also change the shape. So obviously with this one, it's not quite it's it's not flat on the top, which makes it kind of look depressed, a little bit sad. So that works quite well. And if you have it facing inwards, so you have both of them there, it would look quite angry, which would work really well without having to use like eyebrows or anything. You can actually judge entire expression from somebody's eyes if you do them the right way. That's why eyes can be quite important to um, pretty much your entire style because eyes are almost like a centerpiece. The first thing I look at generally when I look at a picture is the eyes. I'm not sure if that's the same for everybody, but they tend to just grab you, so it's the first thing I see. Um, trying to think, my brain is not working anymore. Uh, we have your realistic eyes and stuff. I'm not very good at that, so I can't really get into the whole how to draw realistic eye styles, unfortunately. Uh, obviously, with the one I've drawn, it needs eyelashes because it has none. Because I'm, I'm very good at this, you know, apparently. There we go. Now now that's better. It's up to you how you really want to draw stuff. But this the the basics for it. So we have all of our different eye styles. You will always get new eye styles, um, obviously, as you use different shapes. As you experiment around a bit. You can mix two styles together to get a new style. I use a lot of different styles in my art. Uh, you've probably seen a lot of my pictures. I will vary from one eye style to the other. A lot of that will depend on the characters I've got. Um, so, like, a lot of the characters I actually have, like, Carrot has this eye style. I know it's not very well drawn, but Carrot has this eye style. Um, a lot of my other characters have different styles, like Zero has a different style for his eyes. He's got this style. And then for my enemy characters and whatnot, they all again have different styles. Like um, my character Toto, which I don't draw often, 
she has this style and then other characters that I have often have different styles as well uh, such as Relic. Relic has another different style so it all depends. Character design can often uh, it, it often depends because what you do for your characters is all going to be different so they all have different eye styles. It's four different. None of those are the same. Um, this one and this one could be close, but they're not quite, so it is a little bit different. Alright, uh, where are we? If I can find things. My layers are all screwed up. Here we go. Okay, for this part I'm going to show uh, basics on all of your different eye colouring styles. Obviously this is only four ways of doing it and for some reason I've written three twice can't count past three apparently okay so with this one this is your basic I've got four different um, eye, st eye coloring styles these aren't the only coloring styles you'll have obviously everyone will have a different style if you look up on like DeviantArt and stuff you'll find a crap ton of tutorials um, a lot of people have reference sheets and stuff of all sorts of different styles you can draw so don't limit yourself to one. If you find a style and you like it, um, always play around. You may find another style that you've made yourself that you enjoy. So it's always fun. So we've all got, these are all going to be blue, because blue is a good color, and I like blue. And these are your basics. So a lot of the time, I, I'm, I'm quite picky actually. I like, every character has their eyes colored a different way. Like for, um, all of my enemy characters like Chibis uh, I often draw in either this style here so style 2 and generally in style 1 I don't often use these two not for Chibis um, this one I'll only ever use for like somebody I guess who's like uh, hypnotized or like not quite all there I guess so kind of like a soulless a puppet or a doll or something it works quite well for it because it looks empty so that's something that I like to use when like I'm using that kind of thing. Um, style 2 is generally for a more simplistic shading style. If I'm doing something very simple, I quite often like a very simple um, style for the eye colouring just because it's a lot faster, it's a lot easier, and it still looks cute, especially when it's like done for a chibi. Um, Style 3 is pretty much style Style 1 and Style 3 are very similar. The only difference is that middle piece is not actually shaded darker. It's actually the same same as the bottom piece. And quite a lot of times I used to use it and I don't mind using it for like big enemy pictures. But I don't often use it for my chibis because I find that I just don't really find that the style mixes very well. So it depends on your own preference. Um, then we've got all the highlights. So style one is a highlight style I use a lot. It looks cute, it's very simple, uh, you start just from the outside and you just go in a little bit and it helps, it helps just bring out the eye into that little bit of cuteness. Um, for style two I made it very simple, it's just this little spot of um, white on it so it's very quick, very easy, it still looks cute and it adds that tiny bit of shine to the eyes. Style three is designed to follow the shape of the eye. So it is more like the, the sunlight is hitting it. I find that style actually looks really cute for chibis and stuff. So I'm quite happy with the way that that looks. And I would actually probably use that for, I guess, like your teenage, a girl in teenage years or something like that. Oh my goodness, now there's a bird. Okay, now that all the barnyard animals are gone, I can continue. Um, okay, so we have uh, all... The styles, there are different ways you can do uh, highlights and everything. It's all going to be dependent, I guess, on your own personality. Everyone's different. Everyone generally has or finds something that suits them better. And I'm, I'm the same. I constantly change mine depending on what style I want to do or if I'm experimenting and creating something new. So the only other thing I will probably... Uh, go back to this one. So there's a lot of different things that you can make with different eye styles. Obviously, the more you practice at it, 
the more shapes and stuff that you use and, and things like that, and even like different noses and stuff with the same eyes actually create a new style. So it's always good practice. And it's really neat to see uh, a whole bunch of different eye styles. These aren't anywhere near as many eyes as you can make. I've seen over 200 different eye styles. It's just that I can't think of them all, <laughs> all right off the bat. So um, it's pretty much up to you whether you want big, small, oddly shaped, um, something that's like horrendously just not possible, you know, anywhere near natural something anime, cartoonish, you know, it's, it's entirely up to you to help define your character and make them your own personal character. So it is it is fun and like um, when you look at like favorite characters and things from games and that you'll notice that a lot of them have different eye styles so it's always fun to draw them in the style that they were created in. Um, so it's always good practice to try different different styles a lot and things like that. So anyway, um, I hope my tutorial helped you guys. Uh, sorry it wasn't as long as I originally hoped. Unfortunately, complications on the computer didn't decide to help me out today. Um, I will do another couple of tutorials. Uh, one on hair, because I've been asked that a few times. One on colouring, painting, um, textures, pixel art. So um, I will be doing more of these. Uh, they're kind of a... a, a kind of a little bit time consuming so I may and may not be able to do them from time to time time blah but yes um I, I am hoping to so I hope you guys enjoyed it um show me your work on Twitter I'm bin of trash one on Twitter so send me a message on there or just uh, send me a message over YouTube on DeviantArt you know I'm quite happy to have a look and see what you've done so yeah, I shall see you all next time. Bye.